John, why are we up at 3.30 in the morning? I'm tired. I'm waking up, taking the boys to Homer, Alaska. They're gonna become commercial fishermen today. You excited, bucko? I'm tired, that's for sure. Well, good morning, everyone, or whatever part of the day it is to you right now. I hope you're having a great day. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you go down below this video and click on that subscribe button. Today, we got something very cool going on. As you know, we are out in Alaska right now, and John lined us up with one of his buddies, Lance, who is going to take us out on the ocean from Homer, Alaska, and we are gonna be going, I don't know how many miles out in the ocean, super far, and we are going to be doing some commercial fishing. So, me and Sam are going to be going out on the boat with Lance, and we are going to be helping him catch as many fish as we can today out of the ocean. So, I'm pretty pumped. It's super early. We're literally running on like an hour of sleep. Sam did not even go to bed last night. So we're all pretty freaking tired. So with that said, we have about an hour and a half drive down to Homer, Alaska. Once we get down there, we're gonna meet up with Lance. I think we have to get our commercial fishing licenses. And yeah, that's about all I know right now. So once we make this long trek down there, I will get the camera back out and let you guys know a little bit more. We will see you once we arrive to Homer. Lance. Oh, Slayman. Last year, or not last year. This is a sketchy stair setup. You ready for this, Bucko? Oh, I'm ready. You gonna get seasick? No, I don't get seasick. Well, I do have Dramamine if you get seasick. Oh, good. To help you. The only sickness I might get is in my tummy. Ooh. Are you seasick yet? Nope. It's a bumpy one out here. Whoa, I gotta throw up. <laughs> oh, Harry, man. All right, well, after about an hour and a half boat ride, Captain Lance finally got us to the spot and we're about to start fishing here. So we came out about 35 miles from Homer where we left right away. And we're gonna try the first spot which would be the closest of all the spots that we're gonna try. Lance has the graph on here. He started marking some good fish. So he's in the back right now rigging some lines up. And pretty much we're just gonna throw a bunch of rods out here. It's gonna be about catching as many fish as we can to get the boat full of fish. And that's pretty much the goal today. Literally just catch as many fish as we can. I'm gonna throw the GoPro on. We're gonna head towards the back of the boat here on the deck. Show you guys what we are running and how we are fishing for these things. And and we'll let you know a little bit more. I'm already dropped down, Luke. What do you mean? I'm already fishing, boy. You slacking. We're trying to get fish in the boat. If you ain't got a line in the water, you ain't gonna catch a fish, boy. Waiting hey, buddy, before you yell at me, too, Lance is rigging my rod up. So how am I supposed to fish, huh, buddy? Ooh, you fish like go, a bear. Put you your head. Go in the ocean. Do you want fish wanna? like a bear, bro? Lance, you just kind of want to show quick, like what we got going on. How you're fishing these quick? Yeah. So basically, and we can run a multitude. We can run 30 hooks if we want, but that's just too many to deal with. But we got a couple shrimp flies. We got a nice little pea line bait fish jig, probably eight ounce. And we're just dropping them down to where the schools are, which once we find them, I'll just be hollering like what their depths are. And so basically every second is like 10 feet of a drop. So most of the rockfish will be all suspended. Um, your yellow eyes and lingcod are gonna be on the bottom. Ooh, oh. you got a fish? Can I put this bigger jig up? Yes, that's exactly what I was gonna do. Yeah. 
Well, Captain Lance is hooked up. I'll just replace the, the BP jig on there a little bit heavier than the weight. Lance has to show us how it's done. I was just I was just trying to go down to the bottom. So if you go to the bottom, make sure as soon as you hit the bottom, get it off the bottom as quick as you can because the rocks, okay. you'll get hung up really quick on this in these areas. Oh, Lance is cracked right now. So yeah, what will it be? It's not really fighting. So it's just a baby. Oh, Ooh. it's a quill back. Pull back rockers. It's good. That's a baby lids. Yeah. That looks decent size. Yeah, this is a this is a good fish. This. Let's go. That didn't take long, Lance. That thing is freaky looking. All right, I'm gonna put the big camera down. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what is going on. You get a little bit of the idea. Um, we're gonna start running the GoPro here on my chest, and I'm gonna start trying to catch some fish here, and let's see if we can get some more fish in the boat. All right. Well, here we go. I'm gonna drop down here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Dang, boy. This fight's harder than a red. Oh, I think I got another one. Oh, my God, dude. These things, I'm cranking on these. <laughs> I'm going to be sore after today. It felt like, oh yeah, I got three, I got three. Three rockfish. I knew it got heavier. Okay, well that is a good start. Three fish on my first crank up. Oh, I know we're on again. We are on again. Oh. No. Oh, that one came off. Oh, there we go. Yep. Whoo! Boy! Oh, there, another one went on. Oh my God, this is a fight, man. This is exciting. Whoo! One might have popped off. Yep, we got one. Fish. Love. We just throwing them right on the deck lanes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, I'm already on. I am already on. Oh. This is insane, bro. We've been here for like five minutes. These things are just hammering. Oh. Just a one. Another fish. Back down. And we're on. We are, I just hit bottom. Let's go. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. So what Lance was saying, we have those two flies at above our big weighted jig on the bottom. And if one hits one of these, the rest of the school will kind of chase. And that's why those other flies are on here. So other fish try to bite. And that's why we're hooking two, three fish at a time. Yep, we got three. We got three. A rockfish? There we go. There we go. Slow down a little, see if we can get another one. Yep, there's another one. We got another two, maybe three. This is insane, man. This is so much fun. Holy cow. 
Yep. Oh, we got another three. We got another three. Good thing I got the tide weed boots on. Let's go. There's a fish already. Number two. Sorry, Lance, we're just some commercial fishermen. <laughs> okay, and we are on. We are on. Alright, well, that was pretty freaking hectic and super exciting. What'd you think about that, Sam? Oh, it was fun. That, that was crazy. It was literally, you dropped to the bottom and you had one to three fish on your line. That was crazy. That was probably like a 12 minute drift we did. Um, so pretty much we're going up and the tide is going out right now. So the tide is kind of pushing us so we can actually drift and flow over these schools of fish. And that was a good drift that we just did. It was about 12 minutes, like I said. And this is what we ended up with. Yeah, Ton well, of rockfish. Well over 100 pounds. Yeah, well over 100 pounds from our first drift there. Lance is taking care of the fish there. He's gilling them and throwing them in the cooler. And we're gonna make sure that we keep these fish nice and cool before we go up for our next drift because as you saw, it gets really hectic and you don't have time to really clean up while it's going on. So we're gonna get the boat cleaned up here and we're gonna go back up and hopefully drift over a nice school of fish like that again. But that was freaking crazy. Ice them down, Lance. Keep them nice and cool. Take care of that meat. But this is absolutely beautiful as well. We are getting on the fish for sure. But then when you're sitting here and looking around, this is just amazing all around. The fishing and the scenery out here is crazy. It's not a game, it's a ranch thing. We need 30, oh, dang, that's cool. 35 inches. This one I don't know. I have to bust out my measuring tape. But. Oop, there we go. Oops, um, yeah, good fish, good numbers. Oh, that's a big, so, I got something big, dude. Oh, it's nice and easy, nice right. and easy. Let's go, Luke. Oh, I got go. something. Yeah. Rip them. 
Ooh, Ooh I got some of the big two dude. Nice, dude. Yeah, let's be... go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is it dragging out? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Sam, oh. that thing's digging, baby. Oh, he's still going. Doubled up, let's go. He just woke up. Right away, he wasn't doing too much. Uh, he just woke yeah, up. Is it a big ass leg? I don't know, I can't. I'm guessing, dude. This ain't no rock <laughs> Yeah, I don't think there's no rock fish, man. <laughs> Either that or a whale. Oh yeah. So oh yeah, Lynn Cobb, baby. Okay, um, just keep his head in the water. Oh, oh. Woo! Look at that thing go. Oh, doggy. Reeled right down to the scope. Here's Big Luke. It's not bad. Oh yeah, Bubba. Yeah. Swing him on in, Bubba. Jeez, Doubled up on Lincod? Lincod Luke? Oh, there we go. Luke's already on? Yeah, if you can, just grab that big jig and pull them up from the big jig. Not 35. Lincoln Luke. Already on. Luke's a beast. Ooh, that's a link. Ooh, maybe a nicer one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. What do you got, Luke? Link Luke? Link. How's it feeling? Mm. It was fighting right away. That's a fish. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. That's a big one, dude. Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Just get, oh. Yeah. That's a fish, dude. Oh. You don't want to thumb it, thumb it, but you yeah. Know, but yeah, just try to try to gain them. Oh my god, what is this, dude? Could be a giant howl to it. Oh. Try to gain on him. Boom. I'm guessing. I thought it was a snag. I'm guessing. My guess is like, it's either a big lane cob or a big owl. I thought for sure this was a rock, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what I thought about my This is huge, bro. bro. <sighs> Halibut. Really? Yeah. Halibut. Oh, shit. That's a big ass owl. Oh, bro, that's at least 50, that's 70, right? That's got Can it. Can you run my big camera, Sam? Yeah. Oh, dang, boy. Dang. Dang, Luke. Dang, Luke. What you got on there? A big halibut, son. A big halibut. First halibut ever, too, bro. First halibut Actually? ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is yours. First one ever, ain't it? 
So you're gonna have to reel up all the way to that swivel and just slowly lift. He gone. Dude, that was a big hell of it, bro. How heavy do you think that was, Lance? Over 50. Yeah. <laughs> Probably like 70. 70, 80. Well, if we were actually keeping hell of it, Lance would have already popped it. So it yeah. would have been dead. But, you know. Yeah. But we, we are commercial fishing, so we can't get hell of it right now. So it didn't really matter anyways. But that was still a fun fight. That I thing was huge, bro. That yeah, that was a big bro. halibut. That was a good first halibut. Try, you should try handling an 80-pound halibut in the boat still alive. You don't want to do that. All cool. right, well, that was good. Those are some big sea lions. Oh, oh. I'm a sea lion. Oh, oh. All right, well, I didn't have my GoPro on. The tide's really ripping, so Lance just switched us out to some heavier weights. And I just dropped back down, just hit the bottom, and had a hit. Got another fish on here. That's a good one. Over the rail and in the pail. Sam, are you sore? Yeah, a little bit. My back is gonna hurt, that's for sure. <laughs> Lance, are you sore? I'm a little bit sore, but I wear a back brace to help. Like, oh, you know? he didn't let us in on that information. Oh. Yeah. All right, well, me, Sam, and Lance, we just made it all the way back to the harbor here, and that was a long freaking boat ride. We stopped at a couple spots. I caught like one rockfish at one of the spots we stopped, but other than that, it was super slow. So I'm super happy that we got on all the fish that we did and got to fill the cooler at that first spot. But Lance is gonna fillet a couple of these fish up here and then we are going to go into town, I believe. And there's a little place in town here once we get the boat back on the dock that they're gonna cook us up some fish and we are gonna get to try some of this. Maybe some link cod, but I think mostly just the rockfish, which I have never had, so I'm super excited for that. So. Lance is going to fillet some of these up, we're going to get the boat docked, and we will see you all when we are eating some fish after that. Well Lance, it was a pleasure. Thanks for having me yeah, out. Yeah, man. It was definitely it was It fun. sucks that we couldn't cook it right now, but we'll cook it at home. Thanks I for cleaning it. I can't believe these places are closed. Ridiculous, Lance. It's crazy. All right, well, me and Samuel here, we are back at the crib, and we're going to try to cook up some of this rockfish. So everywhere was closed, which kind of sucks, but now it's a couple days later, and we're just going to cook this stuff up at home. I personally have never had rockfish. Sam said it's really good, so he's going to chef this stuff up since I have no clue how to make this stuff and we're gonna see how this tastes. Let's go. We're in a time crunch. We are in a time crunch. This yep. is also our last day here, it which is. sucks, but we're packing everything up right now. We got totes all over and it's a sad day. Very sad day, but we only got like 30 minutes to make this, so we're gonna Hurry up. make the most of this. Do you like onions, Luke? I love onions, boy. Okay, good. All right, Sam's got the onions caramelizing. Ooh, Ooh boy. boy. That That's looks gonna be good. good. That is going to be good. Ooh. We had to get the seasoning out. We just got a little bit of fin and feather. Nothing crazy. It's got like everything you need on it. So oh, it'll do. We'll take them like that. We will take them like that. So we're going to season her pretty heavily. Bam, baby. Bam. This is a very bro. good call. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. 
that white flakiness, boy. That looks so good, actually. It doesn't matter how the flip goes because it's going to be all smushed together anyway, so. Okay. Okay, what's the strat here? Tacos, boy? Yeah, tacos. All Fish right, tacos. fish is done. Shout out to Samuel for cooking this up. It smells delicious. This We're is just... like cooked in like five minutes, not even. No, this was very quick cooking, but it's we'll take them like that. The strat is a little bit of fish tacos here. So obviously we have our fish, those onions. We got a little pico here. If I can open the container, a little bit of this. A little bit of Parmesan shredded cheese. Ooh. I used to work at Chipotle. Catch this. Catch this. Catch this. Catch this. Also, I never worked at Chipotle, but this looks delicious. Let's go. Mmm. That's actually delicious. Honestly, after seeing like those rockfish when we were on the boat, my first time seeing those fish. They look kind of nasty. It was like, what is this? It looks like a dinosaur. Uh, but that is delicious. That's a great meat, and that tasted freaking amazing. So big shout out to Sam for cooking that up. Also, big shout out to our guy Lance for taking us out all day and fishing with him. I had a great time out there on the ocean. It was honestly probably one of the funnest things I did here in Alaska. So if that looked cool to you guys, you guys definitely need to go do that because I had a lot of fun. That is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you for checking out today's video. If you liked the video, click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below this video. And we will see you all on the next one. See ya! See ya! Wow, wow, wee, wow, I have a chair, I have a chair.